Hey, welcome to the Mentor Engineer. In one of my previous videos, I introduced our new coaster project called Tilly's Terror. And here's the model of it right here, which I boasted as having not one, not two, but three inversions. To which, of course, a 12 year old kid promptly replied, uh, that's not three inversions, it's maybe two, if not one. Which leads me to scratch my head and say, what are you talking about? So, his claim is that the scorpion tail does not count as an inversion, neither does the second uh, barrel roll. So I took this opportunity to put together my all-star cast of coaster experts here, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Is it an inversion or is it not? So on my far right, is Miss Megan Rasmussen, <laughs> coaster writer extraordinaire. And on my immediate right here is Josiah Rasmussen. And we're gonna get to the bottom of this. So, let's get this out of the way. Let the games begin. Okay, so, wanna start off here and just say that Wikipedia states, a roller coaster inversion is a roller coaster element in which the track turns the riders upside down and then returns them to an upright position. Agree or disagree? Well, yeah, but I, yeah. Okay, I agree. At some point, for me, it's it's unclear because what is upside down? And I want to open that up to you guys. What is upside down for you? Right enough where you can fall out of the seat. So, you're up. Okay, good. When you can go fall out of the seat. Um, it has to be more than 135 degrees, so it's like more upside down than upright, like like straight up. It's more straight up. I'm, I'm just saying what is upside down. All the way upside down. It has to be more than 135 degrees. No, no, I'm just saying what is upside down. That. Okay, what is the upside of you? Down? Wait, what? What is, what is the up? When you're talking about a person, what is the upside? The part that's most up, your head. Your head, okay. And if it's down, so your, then your what is it down to, of? Your, your head has to be more down than up. More down than up. No, more down than sideways. So like. More down than sideways. So like this. So if I put sideways. my feet slightly above my head, am I upside down? No. Why not? Where's your head? It, like if your head. Like so, this, so if I, you if I keep feet. leaning back in this chair until my head's down here and my feet are up here, am I upside down? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So we. So my definition would be of upside down at any time my head is less than my feet. Okay. Okay, but it's closer to, the, to a flat level surface. Okay. Merriam-Webster defines it as such a way that the upper and lower parts are in reversed position. But you're sitting down like this, so they can't really be. Reversed position. Like, in, on a roller coaster, though, you're sitting down. It gets complicated, doesn't so it? So you're, yeah. So that, that's confusing because you said it. If, you're, okay. if this is a stand-up coaster, it's... So I'm, I'm going to go with my head is lower than my feet. And Ooh. I'm upside down. Okay. Okay. So I think most of us would agree on that 90% of the time. But there's some outliers, right? All right, the first one that comes to mind is a ride like Hang Time over at Knott's Berry Farm. Where you naturally go up the lift hill at 90 degrees and those chairs are leaned back. So technically, your head is less than your feet. Obviously not an inversion, right? Yeah, it's not an inversion. You want to weigh in yeah, here, buddy? Not an inversion. Not an inversion, not agreed. An inversion. Not an inversion. Okay. What about an overbank turn? Mm, depends how much it overbanks. Oh, by what standard? Um, it just has to overbank like a lot. A lot. <laughs> I don't know. So we would all agree that the overbank turn on Millennium Force is not one because it's only like 95, maybe 100 degrees. It's not far enough. Uh, the one on Twisted Timbers is farther than 100 degrees, uh, maybe 110, 120. Is that an inversion? Yeah. Uh, okay, so you sa you're saying that that one is. So somewhere we're saying between 100 and 120 degrees. Uh, that, that makes it count. Now there are two uh, coasters that have overbanks uh, over 135 degrees. One of them is Untamed with 140. And the other one is Outlaw Run with 153. Yeah. So that would be 
Uh, if we're looking at degrees, flat is zero, uh, vertical is 90, and then if we go another 45, that's 135 degrees. So you're equally up and down, I guess. So I agree that those would be uh, inversions. Yeah. Whereas maybe I could say that twisted terminals just doesn't make it up to, I don't know, halfway between vertical and upside down. Yeah. And I don't, I you know, that's, that's a good thing. But, you know, if you think about it, if you take a, a overbank turn and you just keep twisting it up and it becomes a vertical loop. So, you know, it's, there's got to be a, a, a thing there. And I think the 135 degrees may be the right choice. Yeah, exactly. That's the right choice. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Because you were saying somewhere between 100 and 120. Yeah. Yeah, what? That's what I was saying. So somewhere between 120 and 135. Okay, now let's talk about beyond 90 degree drops. So there's a bunch of them that have this. Uh, the most notable is probably Maverick. Maverick was one of the first ones to go past 90 at 95 degrees. Is that an inversion? No, no. Why not? Because it's only 95 degrees. Only 95 based on? What? Your 135 degree requirement? Yeah. Okay. It has to be so what about um, Cannibal? What's Cannibal? Cannibal is the one with the vertical lift in you know, uh, Idaho. And it comes down and goes like this. You've got the TMNT shell, shell Razor uh, Fahrenheit. Those are all not quite 135 degrees. They're not inversions. But they're not inversions. Okay. So I, I agree with you on this one. So we're, we're in agreement. Vertical hills and beyond 90 degree drops. Now the one I'm playing here is called Man of War. And it is uh, a 180 degree drop. Is that an inversion? Yeah. yeah. So yes. you can see here in the video that once you go off the lift, so you go flat and then you make a 180 degree turn down. So that's, that's an inversion. Are we still holding with that 135 degree? Yes. Okay. All right, now here's where we get interesting because this one is actually counted as an inversion. It probably isn't though. <laughs> You've been on it. What uh, What is it? It's the wing over drop on Gatekeeper. The first move, you come off the lift hill, you go down, and then they flip you over. But by the time you get all the way over, you're definitely down the, the, the slope, or the, uh, the loop uh -huh. at that point. So you're not all the way over. You may get to 135 degrees, but it's it's iffy. Um, I don't know. I because think maybe And, and the difficult be, thing about this one is you're going, it might depend you're, what you're dipping goes. down, and then you're rolling over as you're going down the loop. So you're rolling this way, and then you're also going. I feel like that uh, would count as down. an inversion. I think that would count as an inversion. I think you probably hit the 135 there, but we're showing the, as you can see from the video here, it's very close. There's a bunch of different angles where you know you're like maybe it may not be, but they do count it as an inversion. Okay, I think it's an inversion. Okay, we'll count it as an inversion. So 135, it sounds like what we're, what we're considering an inversion. So what about the scorpion tail? On yours? On mine. Uh, any, any of them. Any scorpion tail. Yours is I, not. I, why is mine not? Because it's not 135. But you're upside down and you stall out. What? You're upside down and you stall. So you're there. There's no G-forces like uh, on, a, a, on a standard loop that's pulling you back into your seat. You're, you're hanging there. So, not enough degrees. So it's not enough degrees? No. It is enough. It is enough? Yeah. Why? Because when you go and there's no seatbelt, you would fall out. I would fall out, wouldn't I? Because there's no G-forces, but on a loop. But you would also fall out on an airship. you in, so on a loop, you wouldn't fall out. What? That's true. I mean, if I'm not wearing a, if I'm not wearing the, the vest, actually, I'd fall out on the barrel roll getting to that. Because that's not a, that's more of a JoJo roll than anything. Okay, so if I've made the scorpion tail 135 degrees or more, would you get on as an inversion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then your roller coaster would actually have three inversions. Even though you go on it and you stall out and you fall right out. Still. And then you die because the cart would run over you again. Still. It would be a double death. Two ways to die. Dumb ways to die. Okay. So we're going to change the scorpion tail to 135. You are? Yes. Oh no. Okay. Okay. So then is it, so then we could argue that it's a two, co two inversion coaster or a three inversion coaster. Yours right now? Or if it had the... Well, I'm just talking about any shuttle coaster. So, uh, Montezuma's Revenge, any of the boomerangs. 
Does those count as one or two? Inversions? Oh, the ones that go like forward and then back? Right, so Montezuma's Revenge, you go through the loop, you go up the spike, you go back through the loop, and then back up to another spike. Is that one inversion or two? The track would have one inversion, but the ride would have two. Interesting, what are your thoughts? Same. Same? I think so too. So I did go look and RCDB does count it only as one inversion. So Boomerangs have three inversions and Montezuma's Revenge only has one. So maybe uh, maybe that's not true. Maybe I need to put a scorpion tail on the other side. Why? Because it doesn't count as two inversions then. It does. Okay, we're gonna count it as two inversions. Yeah. Because you do two inversions. When I get strapped into the ride, I get two inversions. Or yeah. Two inversions on Montezuma's Revenge, three inversions on Tilly's Terror. If you change it to 135 degrees. If I change it to 135 degrees. Okay, so, all right, so what we're concluding here is that an inversion is anytime the track goes 135 degrees or more to the ground, to a flat level surface. Correct, right? Yeah. And that if you go forward and backwards through the loop, it will count as two inversions and not one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure most of you disagree, so go ahead and put your, your comments, your hate mail, your death threats down below and let us know what you think and may the best man win. So thank you for watching this episode of The Mentor Engineer. We had fun putting it together and if you like this Math You Can Ride shirt right here, show your coaster support and scroll down, you can get your very own shirt in our merch store. So thank you and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And once again, put those comments and death threats down below. Have a good day. Or not.